Mahatma Gandhi said, there's a force in the universe, which if we permit it, will flow through us and produce miraculous results. What is this force? What is this flow? And what permits it? What is it that opens up the, the attunement current and the spirit of life flowing through our hands and flowing through our breath? What restricts that current? And when we really open to it, why do we sometimes retreat from it and turn away? This breath of life is the prana. This breath of life is chi. This breath of life is aloha. And in Genesis 2, 7, it says, Then the Lord God formed man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and he became a living soul. These uh, words, he blew into his nostrils a living soul. In Hebrew is, Vaipach be'apav nishmat ha'im. And this this living soul that's being breathed into is happening on levels far more subtle than the physical before it reaches the physical. And certainly it needs to reach the physical or else we wouldn't be having this conversation such as a participant not being able to unmute himself. Without the breath of life, the, the silence and the stillness and the, the, this presence is on mute. It hasn't become a living soul because it's not breathing on the level of the soul. And in the Kabbalah, this verse from um, Genesis 2-7 is very significant and very specific about these dimensions of the world of the infinite, the world of emanation, the world of creation, the world of formation, the world of action. And each of these dimensions of the soul that are being breathed into in this moment that we are flowing from as we radiate the attunement together. We are breathing as the soul on each of these levels. Yechida is the singular level. Haya is living presence. Neshama, the breath of life. Ruach, the spirit and nefesh, the vitality of our bodies are all breathing together in this aloha, in this chi, in this prana, and in this force of the universe. But we have to permit it. 